Hello and welcome. I'm Chris. It's Chris with a K. Uh, films by Chris, also with a K, dot com. There should be a link in the description of my website. Be sure to check it out. And today I'm just going to talk about stuff and my thoughts. And uh, talk about how uh, I, I, I dislike most computer magazines. Obviously, most computer magazines you go, they're going to be talking about Apple or, or Mac computers or, or iPhones or Android or Windows. And I really don't find them but I feel the same about a lot of... Uh, Linux related magazines as well and again uh, it kind of goes back to recently I talked about uh, YouTubers that I like and how a lot of Linux YouTube videos are just reviews of different distros or um, boring stuff that I don't care about and I'm more interested in actual usage and coding and configuration and stuff like that and I wish there were more magazines like that uh, one magazine I have subscribed to for years um, is the Linux Journal and there are some you know um, people in there there are some Articles that, that go over bash scripts and stuff like that, and I do enjoy that. But I wish there was a magazine uh, that, and there might be, uh, that that mainly focuses on on code. And so this is my idea of a magazine, and I thought about doing this. And you know, if, if you guys are interested in helping me with this, let me know below in the comments because you know if we get ten or fifteen of us, we could actually you know pop out some digital copy of this. Um, but I kind of picture it in a small format. If you ever uh, subscribe to uh, the 2600 magazine, the, the Hackers Quarterly, uh, it's just a small little book uh, that come, came out quarterly, comes out quarterly and uh, you know has regular paper pages. But I kind of picture it in that format if it was physically printed. But it's just code. And that's all it is. You open it up and it like, gives a title, maybe a quick description of what code does, and then it would have the code. And, uh, and maybe, you know, it would have, you know, a section where it have one or two bash scripts each month or quarter, or however often this, um, uh, magazine came out, then maybe have a Python section where it has some Python code and then maybe some C code. And maybe even it has like a theme throughout it. It's like, okay, here's a code on, on creating a tic-tac-toe game. Here it is in bash. Here it is in Python. Here it is in C. Here it is in Perl. And like you had different people write the code for different languages, but that's all it is. It's a description on the page and it has the text of the code that if it's in a digital format and copy, but also at the end it has a little QR code uh, that you can scan that would either be directly the text of that of the code or at least a URL to where you can get the script. So you can read through this and you can just look over and see how people do different things in different programming languages. And, and again, maybe it could be the same code in different languages, the same program in different languages. You can see how different, and that, that can help you learn different programs. Just like, oh, I'm familiar with Bash and Python, but let's have a look at, at the JavaScript or uh, you know uh, the uh, the um, C or C++ program and see, oh, that's how they did that there. You know. And I just think a, pro, a magazine like that, I don't need the articles. That's something I, I feel uh, when it comes to magazine articles. And I've written a couple of magazine articles here and there, one or two for the Linux Journal and stuff, and a, quite a few back in the day for the 2600 magazine. Um, but, you know, you have to fill, you know, two pages or three pages. And actually, I never really wrote an article for Linux Journal. I just wrote little clip it, clippets, I think. They, they have posted stuff I've said in there. I don't even remember. Um, but I just feel like a lot of it's filler. I'm just talking to talk to fill things up rather than getting to the point where the magazine I'm seeing, again, description. This is a program that does this, um, you know, and this is the creator and hopefully, uh, you know, the license would be a GPL license or something similar. Um, but here is the code. Just, just the code with with comments in it. You know, this line does this. And, you know, maybe well, well, well commented, which is a hard thing for programmers to do, but well commented, so that people know what lines of code do. And again, you can scan the QR code to get that code digitally, or if the magazine would be completely digital, you can just copy and paste it from from the thing. But um, what do you guys think? Wouldn't you, would you like to see a magazine like that? Uh, would you like to help create a magazine like that? Because I would, I would think it would be so cool. I mean, again, you get uh, 15 people, 10 or 15 people to work together to every three months, each write a code, you know, a script that's a page or two long and uh, and throw it into a digital magazine that we can share. Uh, I mean, or do you think that's kind of silly? Like, well, I can just go to GitHub or Pastebin to see that sort of thing. And basically it'd be like Pastebin in a digital format or in a, in a, in a magazine format or even a little booklet format. But I would just so love, like, lots of times when I'm looking through magazines, again, going, it's like you're, you're trying to fill the pages, and that wouldn't be the point of a magazine like this. But I, if I pick up a Linux magazine, I start flipping through, and, you know, uh, if same thing I do when I search for stuff, and I go to, like, um, uh, 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 what's that website? Um, wow. Website I go to all the time. Stack Exchange? That's the name of the page, right? 
uh, it's like, I don't read what people write. I go straight to the little code block. This magazine would be nothing but code blocks. And the same thing, I go to, you know, whether it be the Linux journal or whatever Linux magazine is out there, I'm flipping. If, if there isn't code on the page, I'm usually not interested in it. And, and I just keep on flipping and I just go straight to the code. The, the article's interesting if there's something in the code I don't understand, but then I end up reading through a bunch of, you know, just filler code, filler words that are trying to fill up this magazine, which I get, they have to fill the pages, you know, and the magazines are 50% advertisements anyway, but I'm interested in the code, not you necessarily talking about the code unless you're explaining something important about the code. Um, but yeah, comment below. Again, let me know, what do you think about this idea? Do you think that would be cool? Would you like to see a magazine or a little booklet like this? Um, and would you be interested in, in helping like in something like that? Again, if I just get a handful of people, you know, you sit down and, you know, 10, 15 minutes, write out a uh, code. And again, it could be, the magazine could be, you know, same theme for every code, or it could just be, you know, hey, I felt like writing code that shows you how to, um, you know, uh, uh, scrape stuff from this particular web page or scrape things from YouTube and pull down videos, although YouTube DL kind of does that by default. You know, more than one liner is an actual code, you know, maybe, you know, not super long, um, but basic little scripts. What do you guys think about that? Let me know. Comment below. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.